so i was wondering what if while we are writing this big project which is um this food delivery app and we kind of um lost a file and um, probably it gets deleted and um we don't know where that file went to or we delete a piece of code and we wanted to revert back to it um what do we do <laughs> um i think that's where version control comes in and version control is what um help um us as a developer keep track of our software codes and also keep track of the changes as well and uh, yeah and we are going to use git and github for that so git is going to function as the local part which you're going to see that um in the works right now so we are going to install git to your local machine so you can keep track of your codes so what if you're working with a team so that's where the github comes in you're going to um github is going to help you um um save that or store those codes based on the changes you've made and based on um the tracking i just talked about it's going to help in doing that so that's what git and github is going to do for us and that's what i want to bring in in here so um as you can see i'll just okay i have git open it's free and open source you can download that if you don't have it if you're a beginner and watching this you can download that and start using it if you're a beginner i would recommend you start using git and also github it's going to help you if you have not gotten maybe you're still working to actually get land a big software job you are going to need this you're going to need this there's no two ways about it every company in some way need to control some changes they have in their codes and here in this food delivery app because it's big we need that as well so i have that created here already i have it created here already so we are going to um talk on that on um, making this um link to our project and as well um git here you should install that so we have github here and um, we have github here so we are going to link this to our project so let's link that to our project we are going to go here first thing first we are going to do is git in it so git in it um is going to um tell our local machine here that this project we want to track every um, piece of code in this project so whatever changes any tiny changes we make it's going to be recorded so that's the sweet thing about git and github so i'm going to click on enter and you can see everywhere is green here that means we have created um we have actually initialized git in this project and as so you can see some um some um things gray out here that means this won't be pushed to git and why this is um being gray as and most of this are being ger generated from a local machine so maybe okay if i should send this code to you and you should run that it's going to generate this file based on based on your maybe your file location and anything about your file so it's going to do that so that's why this is being gray out and green out that is being it's been done in the git ignore so um after i watch this video judge and you, if you don't know about git git you should check git out watch some few tutorials about it and yeah, you're going to learn some really good stuff about it so calling any file in the git ignore here is going to ignore that file not to be published on the saver so um as you can see here we have initialized it and we'll write one more some more commands here and like the git add all so this is going to add all of this um to our git bank so it's kind of a storage we have this is going to take all of this we have created which is not being added so again is going to add that now we are going to write one more um command here which is the git commit now what the git commit does okay you have added some things to your bank um but you have not recorded that you added this and this and this so this git commit is going to help in that so we are going to record that and we are going to call this first commit and yeah it has record that and you can see that everywhere here has turned back to normal so i'm going to clear this i'm going to add our remote branch and 
which is what you're seeing here i'm going to copy that here and add that so i'm going to git push and it's going to talk about this and i'm going to copy that and and copy this clear this out and git push So you can see here that we have um, a little challenge on pushing uh, our code to, to git and this is because um, you can see here um, that we already have something here on we already have something we have also just created on git itself so the um, history of our master branch and the master branch here it's not same they are very very different um history so this um made it impossible to um push this and it was rejected because the history of these two um these two folders and these two files these two projects are not same so one way to fix that there is a command here called git pull origin master then we have a flag here called allow unrelated histories so this is going to pull the unrelated histories we have and and declare that as a um as a conflict here so we are going to resolve it so we don't want what is here what we want is um what is actually on the saver here so i'm going to um accept the change coming from this to yeah here it is accept current change uh not current not current incoming change so you can see that it contains everything we have here on this so i'm going to save this um i'm going to save this and add this to so this is a vs code um kind of way to um work with git so i'm going to show you this way as this way as well so um i will just add this as a commit so you can see here that here it's called source control which is the vision and uh, version control and go here you see some few um things here like the source control commits um file history branches and you can see the remote branch you can see the stashes you can see the tags you can see the work trees you can see the contributors which i'm expecting you to be a contributor and you can see the search and everything you need so we'll be working mostly on the commits and and as well the source control here so just if we should make any changes in this readme here and save that okay you see that changes you see here it called changes you see and if we check this you see the previous um code and you see the current code the current changes we make so that is going to help us and if we should click on this we are going to stage that and this is ready to be committed if you write any message here and click on this um check mark here it's going to commit that so but we don't want to commit that and we don't want to save that so you click on and you can revert here that's discard changes so we'll go back to our code here and what next we are going to do now our, our branch is all good uh branch master is all good with the branch we have on the saver so i'm going to git push this and this should work and i'll just restart um i'll just um do this and you can see everything we have we have everything being added to our git here so you can go through that um so that's way we are going to go on this project will be controlling our we'll be tracking our changes and whatever things we do with git and also github and as well if you have any problems always write an issue if you have any changes you have made and that is valuable for this um, um this project just make a pull request do that i personally i'll be very very grateful and other juniors and um, probably seniors as well will be grateful for that well, thank you